Hi and welcome to Paul's Cooking Adventures. Today we're going to make a lovely laksa from scratch. This is an absolutely beautiful dish. This reminds me of Singapore. This is yum. Can't wait to show you, so let's get cooking. Let's run through the ingredients. We're gonna need some coriander root, lemongrass, ginger and galangal, some fresh turmeric, dried chilies, fresh chilies, eschalots, garlic, some candle nuts or macadamia nuts, some dried shrimp, some coriander powder, and some lovely shrimp paste. We'll get straight onto the paste. We've got some uh, candle nuts here, they're all in pieces, but we'll need approximately six of those. We'll grab our coriander and all we're going to do is use the uh, root and base part of these. If you've got it with the root on, it's much, much better. Our lovely lemongrass. We'll take off the very bottom bit of the lemongrass. We're only going to use the white part, so as soon as it starts to turn green, we can take that piece off and we can roughly chop these ones. and straight into our blender. Our lovely ginger, if you've got galangal, I would use half galangal and half ginger. Um, we need a lovely couple of bits of this, possibly all of this lovely piece is about enough. The easiest way to do this is just take off your little knobs and then with a spoon, you can just go with your spoon and scrape off all the skin. This way you don't get as much waste. If you do it with your knife, you tend to cut a little bit too much of the skin off and you waste all that ginger. And obviously ginger is one of the most expensive things in this recipe, unless you're lucky enough to have some growing at home. I love the smell of this ginger. It's absolutely beautiful. Just makes me want to make a ginger tea straight from it. Lovely and fresh. And then we can just roughly chop the ginger. Straight into our blender. Our fresh turmeric as well. We can do the same way as our ginger. You may want to have gloves on for this one. What will happen is your hands will get very stained. Just as a little tip, as I say, I'm not too fussed but you may be, because you'll end up with very yellow hands. If you're not lucky enough to buy fresh turmeric, um, it's okay to use powder. And just roughly chop as well, and this can go straight in the blender. And what did I tell you? Yellow hands. Our chilies next. We can just roughly chop our chilies. If you don't want so many chili seeds in there and you don't want it so hot, just grab this one and wash it under the water and it'll take off majority of the seeds for you. Our shrimp, we've just put in some hot water just to let them rehydrate. We can go straight in with them. We're also going to need a little bit of this liquid, otherwise it's not going to blend, so we can go in with a little bit of liquid. In with our lovely chilies, we've let them hydrate as well. 
And because we're not going to get much more in, we're just going to give it a quick blend now. We can next go in with our coriander powder. Now that we have enough room, we have some lovely eschalots here. We just need to peel our eschalots. And then we can just roughly chop our onions to go in as well. And some lovely garlic. Last but not least, our lovely shrimp paste. Lovely bit of shrimp paste. And guarantee one of the things that you're going to need a little bit more of is just a little bit more liquid. And let's do some more blending. And look at that beautiful thing. And there we have it guys, our Luxa Pace. Wasn't that hard, was it? Thank you very much for following me. I hope you've subscribed. Make sure to write a comment down the bottom. I love your comments. I'll reply to every single one. See you for the next recipe.